Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Did you come with your Bibles? Wonderful. If you came with your Bible, I want us to know that today, uh, today is a good day. Actually, it is one of the best days. It is called the Palm Sunday. It is a very, very good day. A very blessed day. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to read a couple of verses. Kusoma, Mr. Matthew 21. Moja. Verse 1 to 11. Kuanzia, Mr. Moja, kam, mpaka moja. Matthew 21 verse 1 to 11. Matthew 21 verse 1 to 11. Matthew 21 verse 1 to 11. Moja. Now when they drew near Jerusalem. Walipo karibia Jerusalem. And came to Bethphage. Wakafika besi, at the Mount of Olives. Katika mlima wa mizeituni, then Jesus sent two disciples. Yesu wanafunzi wawili, saying to them, akiwambia, Go into the village opposite you. Nendeni kwenye kijiji kilichokaribu, and immediately you find a donkey tied. Na mkipata punda ambaye and a colt with her. Na mwana punda ambaye amefungwa, Loose them muafungue, and bring them to me. Mnilete. And if anyone says anything to you, you shall lolote, say, the Lord has need of them. And immediately he will send them. Na papo hapo and this was done that it might be fulfilled na hili ili which itimie. was spoken by the prophet saying hili li 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 tell the kisewa. daughter of Zion bintu wa behold your king is coming to you. Tazama mfame wako Glory. And sitting on a donkey. Ni waki cha chini, a waki cause, punda. The fall of a donkey. Mtoto wa, mwana punda. So the disciples went and did as Jesus commanded them. Na hivyo basi wanafunzi wakaenda wakasifanya wali They brought the donkey and wa. the court laid their clothes on them and set them. Or they set him on them. Wakamkatisha kwenye hivyo uh, hayo mangu. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I want us to look at Mark. The story recorded by Apostle Mark. He says this, as they approached Jerusalem and came to Bethphage and, Beth and Bethany at the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two of his disciples saying to them, go to the village ahead of you and just as you enter it, you will find a cult tied there which no one has ever ridden. Untie it and bring it here. If anyone asks you, why are you doing this? Say, the Lord needs it and will send it back here shortly. They went and found a colt outside in the street, tied at a doorway. As they untied it, some people standing there asked, what are you doing untying that colt? They answered as Jesus had told them, and the people let them go. When they brought the court to Jesus and threw their cloaks over it, he sat on it. Many people spread their cloaks on the road, while others spread branches they had cut in the field. Those who went ahead and those who followed shouted, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is he, the coming kingdom of our father David. Hosanna in the highest heaven. Jesus entered Jerusalem and went into the temple courts. He looked around at everything, but since it was already late, he went out to Bethany with the twelve. That's a different story. Because the approach is different. Matthew, there is a donkey and a colt. Forget about the mother. Goes to the colt and why Jesus needed the colt. The Gospel of Luke. In Julia Luca. In Matthew, Katika Madayo, the disciples are told the village wanafuzi, opposite you. Wanafuzi wanambiwa, uh, kijiji ambacho kili, kiko, kime In Mark, they nanyo. are told the village Katika ahead of you. Mariko wanambiwa kijiji ambacho kiko melenyu. In the Gospel of Luke chapter 19, Katika Injilia Luka 19, starting from verse 28, kuanzia msari wa 28, after Jesus had said this, baada Yesu kusema haya, 
He went on ahead. After saying these things, Jesus went on ahead of them, going up to Jerusalem. As he approached, when he approached Bethphage and Bethany at the mount that is called Olivet, he sent two of his disciples, saying, Go into the village ahead of you. There as you enter, you will find a donkey, caught, tied, on which no one has ever sat, and tie it and bring it here. If anybody asks you why you are untying the colt, you will say, the Lord needs it. So those who were sent left and found the colt just as he had told them. As they were untying the colt, its owner asked them, why are you untying the colt? They say, the Lord needs it. They brought it to Jesus and they threw their robes over the colt and put Jesus on it. As he rode along, people were spreading their coats on the road as an act of homage before a king. As soon as he was approaching Jerusalem, near the descent of Mount Olives, the entire multitude of the disciples, all those who were all, who were all claimed, let's go back to that verse, who were all claimed, who were all claimed to be his followers. Let's go back. I haven't finished. <laughs> Began praising God, adoring him enthusiastically and joyfully with loud voices for all the miracles and works of power that they had seen. Shouting blessed or celebrated. Praise is the king who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory. Majesty, splendor, in the highest heaven. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Some of the Pharisees, I like this translation, because he says, some of the Pharisees yeah, from, from the cloud say to him, teacher, rebuke your disciples for shouting those messianic praises. Jesus replied, I tell you, if these keep, people keep silent, the stones will cry out in praise. Let's look at the Gospel of John as we finish. Verse, chapter 12, verse number 12. The next day, the great crowd, the next day when the large crowd who had come to the Passover feast, had Jesus was coming to Jerusalem. Now imagine, there was something happening in Jerusalem. The others have not mentioned it, but John is mentioning it to come. They had come for a feast. Verse number 13. They took branches of palm trees in homage to him as king and went out to meet him. And they began shouting and kept shouting, Hosanna, blessed, celebrated, praise is he who comes in the name of the Lord, even the king of Israel. And Jesus, finding a young donkey, sat on it just as it is written in scripture. Do not fear, daughter of Zion. Behold, your king is coming, seated on a donkey's court. His disciples did not understand the meaning of these things at first, but when Jesus was glorified later and exalted, they remembered that these things had been written about him and had to be done. That is the, the word of the Lord. And we can pray and go home. But maybe before you go home, you need to hear one or two things. Because you could have read that for yourself. But now that I read to you, I better tell you one or two things that I find very interesting and very powerful in these scriptures. I want to start by saying there is always need for a new beginning. Always there is need for a new beginning. Tell your neighbor new beginning. There is always need for a new beginning. Sikia waya inapitia the wrong place. Sikia, hii, kamwedho wa kidogo. Iyo kitu. Sawa. Ni asante tu, tunashukuru mungu. Hii naitu wa teknolojia. Wa Tanzania walikuwa kita teke ni lalo kujia. But, amen, it was well.
Tell your neighbor there is need of a new beginning. Mwambie jirani kwamba pana hitaji la mwanzo mpya. We all look forward for a new beginning. Kila wakati wa tunatazamia mwanzo mpya. Because when a change is coming sometimes it doesn't want us. Kwa sababu wakati mabadiliko huwa yanakuja haya tu. When COVID came we were told the Africans will all die. Corona ilipokuja tukaambiwa waafrika wote watakufa. We got scared. Tukaogopa. Actually it was so tough. Na ikawa ni ngumu sana. That when I fell ill, kwamba wakati nilikuwa mgonjwa, because I got ill, kwa sababu nilikuwa mgonjwa, my wife could not sleep in the same bed. Bibi yangu hangela atungelala katika kitanda kimoja. My children could not come close to where I am. Hata watoto wangu hawangenikaribia. I was living alone on the second floor. Nilikuwa naishi peke yangu katika jumla nini ya pili. And they would bring food and knock the door and disappear as quickly as they knock the door. Nilikuwa naleta chakula alafu wanatoroka haraka iwezekanavyo. Because I got sick immediately so it was scary. Kwa hivyo ilikuwa ina ugofia. But when it went, lakini ilipoisha. Because finally it went. Kwa sababu hatimaye ilisha. At first we were told we will forget there was a year called 2020. Mwanzo tuliambwa kwamba tasahau mwaka huo 2020. Tell your neighbor we never forgot. Hatukusahau mwambie jirani. We saw there was a 2020. Tukaona kwamba palikuwa na mwaka 2020. And we know that God did the best that he could at 2020. Na tukaona Mungu alifanya wezalo mwaka huo. But there was a new beginning. Pakawa na mwanzo mpya. Some people had to begin afresh. Watu wengine ilibidi waanze upya. Some upia. churches were closed. Makanisa mengine yakafungwa. Let me tell you what I used to do. Hebu nikwambie nilichokuwa nafanya. I would come here. Nilikuwa naja hapa. And preach. Na hubiri. And I would only have 15 people. Na ningekuwa na watu 10 na watano pekee. Not sitting. Si wakiwa mesiketi. For the instruments. For our singing. There was the media three cameras. There was a sound and myself. Nasa. And I would preach to you when you are at home. Na angetuhubiria tukiwa nyumbani. Then alafu something happened. Jambo lingine likafanyika. Oh it caught up with my 15. Ah uh, corona ikakuja ikaja. And I called anybody who had come here. Na nikamuita kila mtu ambaye angekuja hapa. And that of them na what the lady were checked wakaangaliwa lo and behold tazama five were affected watano walikuwa wamepata corona some of them were refusing wengine hata walikuwa nakataa but it came lakini corona ikaja na ikapita we bless the name of the lord tunamshukuru mungu now the jews wale wa yahudi were looking for something new walikuwa natazamia jambo jipya they were looking for Somebody to come and liberate them. Walikuwa natafuta mtu akuja kwa komoni. They were tired being Waliku... controlled by the Romans. Walikuwa wamechoka kutawaliwa na Warumi. They were not free. Hawakuwa huru. They were not happy. Hawakuwa wamefurahi. They were looking for a new beginning. Walikuwa natazamia mwanzo mpya. Prophets had prophesied. Ambao manabii walikuwa wametabiri. That there was going to a Messiah was going to come. Kwamba Mesia angekuja. He would save them. Angewaokoa. He would set them free. Angeweka huru. He would be their king. Ange kwa mfalme wao. Those were prophecies. Hayo alikuwa ndio utabiri. So when Jesus entered Jerusalem. Na hivyo basi Yesu alipoingia Yerusalemu. On a donkey. Akiwa ameketi juu ya punda. As did the kings of that age. Kama walivyo wafalme wakati huo. Every time they entered on a city. Kila wakati walipoingia jijini. They were heralded. Walikuwa wameongozwa. And people would say there is a new beginning. Now what we are saying is that kingdom is being set. Pana ufalme mpya ambao unazo. We have a new king. Tuna mfalme mpya. They would follow him. Wangemfuata. They would go around him. Wangemzunguka. And they would shout there is a new king. Na wange there is a new beginning. Wanapiga yoe kwamba pana mfalme mpya pana mwanzo mpya. The name of the Lord. Jina la Bwana libariki. Now remember na kumkumbuka. Jesus was coming to give us a new beginning. Yesu alikuwa anatukuja atupe mwanzo. But they never got what he was saying. Lakini hawa He was telling them. Alikuwa anawaambia, "Where are you? Mko wapi? Are you do you need salvation? Je, mnahitaji wokovu? Do you need to be free? Mnahitaji kuwa huru? Are you oppressed? Mmefinyiliwa? This is come unto me. Ajoni kwa. Oh ye who are weary. Ninyi ambao umechoka. And burdened. Na mna mziko. And I will give you rest. Na nitawapa pumziko. Take my yoke upon you. And learn from me. Na mjifunze toka. For I am gentle. Kwa sababu mimi pole. Na mnyenyekevu. Katika moyo. And you will find rest for your soul. Na mtapata pumziko kwa nafsi zenu. For my yoke is easy. Kwa sababu nira yangu ni rahisi. 
na mzigo wangu ni rahisi. If they chose to follow him then kama waliamua kumfuata they would have found freedom wangepata uhuru they would have found salvation wangepata wokovu but they missed him there lakini wakakosa but now they are seeing him lakini sasa wanakuwa coming on a cult akiwa amebebwa na punda blessed be the name of the lord amen you know in our first service katika ibada ya kwanza preacher Mubi. Muhammad a very powerful message. Alileta ujumbe ambao ulikuwa mzuri sana. So Google so that you can know our preacher. Hey. But she said the Lord is my shepherd. Na akasema Bwana ni mchungaji wangu. So many things that I will not want. Na mambo mengi sitahitaji. And yet this is true about Jesus. Na anasema na ni kweli kumusia. This is my sheep listen to my voice. Anasema kondoo wangu husikiza sauti yangu. I know them. Ninawajua. And they follow me. Na wananifuata. I will give them eternal life. Nitawapa uzima wa milele. And they shall never perish. Na hawataangamia. No one will snatch them from me. Hakuna atakayewatoa toka kwangu. So if they chose to follow him. Na hivyo basi kama waliamua mfuate. He would have offered them. Angewapa new beginning. Mwanzo mpya. A paradise is forever more ah uh, uh, paradiso but they Mile. didn't lakini hawakukubali but right now kama ilivyo all of them what are shouting hosanna wanasema hosanna some of them wengine were set free waliwekwa huru but others lakini wengine were not hawakuwekwa huru you see it is god who was trying to tell them ni mungu alikuwa anawaambia look god dwelling place is now among the people tazama can, 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 you know god's dwelling god's dwelling places with the people makazi ya mungu yako miongoni mwa watu he dwell with them lazima akae pamoja nao they will be his people watakuwa watu wake and god himself will be with them na mungu mwenyewe atakuwa pamoja nao and be their god angekuwa mungu wao he will wipe every tear from their eyes angewapanguza machozi yote there will be no more death hapange kuwa na kifo kingine all mourning ama huzuni ama moto all pain ama uchungu for the old order of things has passed away kwa sababu ya kale angekuwa amepita and who was seated on the throne say na wale ambao walikuwa wameketi kwenye mwezi wa kisa i am making everything new na kifanya kila kitu upya jesus was yes. making everything new alikuwa anafanya kila kitu kiwe kipya at that point na wakati ule they did not see it hawakuona but right now lakini sasa they are seeing it wanaona blessed be the name of the lord amen so Palm Sunday. Hivyo basi Jumapili ya Mitende. It's a new beginning which is offered for all of us. Ni mwanzo mpya ambao umetolewa kwetu sote. Just like the Jews on the Palm Sunday. Jinsi ilivyokuwa kwa Wayahudi siku hiyo ya Jumapili ya Mitende. Out for a new beginning. Walikuwa wanatazamia mwanzo mpya. We too hata sisi can cry out. Tunaweza tukalia. Blessed is he. Ukubarikiwa ni yeye. Comes to us. Atujiae. In the name of the Lord. Katika jina la Bwana. Jesus is still calling you. Yesu bado anakuita. So that he can make a new beginning for you. Ili akufanyie mwanzo mpya. Now. Sasa. He will fill you. Atakujaza. With the hope. Na tumaini. He will fill you. Atakujaza. With the joy. Na furaha. He will fill you. Atakujaza. With the peace. Na amani. If you trust him. Ikiwa utamwamini. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Jina la Bwana libariki. That is the difference. Kwa sababu hiyo ndiyo tofauti. Let's follow him. Tumfuate. Let's follow him. Tumfuate. And what do we have? Ni nini tunacho? To do to make this new beginning. Ili tuanze tuna nini ili tuanze mwanzo? We need to follow Jesus. Tunahitaji kumfuata Yesu. We need to obey him. Tunahitaji tumtii. We need to know him. Tunahitaji tumjue. As Lord and Savior. Kama Bwana na mwokozi. There are four things. Pana mambo manne. That are happening in this passage that we read. Ambayo yanafanyika katika hili fungu ambalo tumesoma. Which I want to mention as I finish. Ambayo ningetaka kutaja napomaliza. Leo ni kuanza na kumaliza. The first one jambo la kwanza is palm branches ni uh, matawi ya mitende you see for us that have visited um, israel kwa wale ambao tumeenda israeli we come back huwa tunarudi say tukisema how watu these people wamebarikiwa they are blessed sio kwamba kuna nyasi nyingi ya ngombe ni mchanga kuna kabahari ukiogelea una float kako dead lakini ukiingia hizo kibuts zao ukuta matunda ukuta mandizi katika hiyo jangwa unasema hawa watu wamebarikiwa these people are blessed kitu ambacho utakikuta kila mahali na ukikikuta kuna maji 
nitende palm tree hey. so as our, our muslim brothers are fasting hivyo basi wazetu wa islamu wanapofunga when it comes to tende they don't want to know where it is coming from ikija kwa mitende huwa hawataki kujua imetoka wapi but as we walked in some of those kibbutz we saw tenders and we enjoyed it lakini tulipokuwa tunatembea katika baadhi ya hayo mashamba you saw a palm tree kila mahali ukiona mtende there was water there palikuwa na maji pale palm tree mti wa mtende and palm tree even in israel was there in the bible times na hata siku za biblia mtende ilikuwa it stand tall ungekuwa mrefu it could be 50 feet in Unge, height ungekuwa na futi 50 and it was all over even in the roman world na ulikuwa kila mahali hata katika it dunia it was strong ulikuwa na simba waving palm branches ukiwa na matawi as it waves itself hata ulipokuwa unatingika and therefore people na hivyo basi watu used to take those leaves walikuwa wanachukua hayo matawi and wave na kupunga and it symbolizes two things na ilikuwa ni ishara mambo mawili that waving of those branches huko kupeparusha kwa hayo matawi first of all joy Jambo la kwanza ilikuwa ni furaha. Tell your neighbor joy. Mwambie jirani furaha. Si mwambie joy. Joy. Furaha. We, we that went to Catholic schools. Today ingekuwa maajabu ya Musa na Firauni. Si tungekuwa na hizo mitende kila mahali. Hata watu wa kuuza wanakuja church. Wanatengeneza tumesalabu wanauzia watu. Maybe I need to start that business. <laughs> Una pam sana. Nafa kuanza hiyo biashara. It symbolizes joy. Ilikuwa ni ishara ya furaha. At the festival of the tabernacle. Wakati wa sherehe za tabernacle, people were called to use palm branches. Watu walikuwa wanaitwa waite tawi moja, watumie tawi moja. Leviticus 23:40. Walawi 23:40. Re- rejoice before the Lord your God. Furaheni mbele za Bwana Mungu wenu. So as we choose to make this day a new beginning. Hivyo basi tunapoamua kuichukua. Let us follow Jesus as king of our lives with joy. Tofauti mfuate Yesu kama kiongozi. As he promised. Jinsi ambavyo ameahidi. The citizens of his kingdom life wherever more. Wananchi wa nchi yake wataishi milele. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we were waving him. Hivyo basi they were waving him. Walikuwa na peperusha. The king of kings. Mfalme wa wafalme. They were rejoicing. Walikuwa na furaha. They were happy. Walikuwa na furaha. Some did not know lakini wengine He was not going to establish the kingdom that time. Amen. But others knew. Lakini wengine walijua. They had received him as Lord and Savior. Wakampokea kama bwana na mwokozi. The second thing about waving the palms. Jambo la pili kuhusu kupeperusha mitende. Victory. Ilikuwa ni ushindi. So laying down palm branches. Na hivyo basi kuiweka chini. Was like lowering out the red carpet. Ilikuwa ni kama kutandika mkeka mwekundu. Red carpet. Mkeka mwekundu. Red carpet. Red carpet. Mkeka mwekundu. Red carpet. Hehe. Ushaona pale pa mwekwa red carpet? Umeona eh? Sio hii. Hii tunakanyangaga wote. Ikiwekwa lazima uulize eh kwani nani ana show up I've gone to two of those functions where nani is coming Nimekuja katika hizo sherehe mbili ambazo And they don't anapu. roll it until they hear anapiga kona hapo Na huwa hawatakuwa roll mpaka wasikie wako karibu Na wajua juu wengine utaka kuikanyanga wanasukumo na polisi hata una hurio mara moja uweze ka... Helen Sayo ndio wako kazi utahuri au utajua umechukuliwa na nani But palms were like the red carpet of our day Lakini mitende ilikuwa ni kama kapeti nyekundu Roman generals returning from a successful campaign Wale viongozi wote wa vita wakishinda That these leaves would be shown through before them Hii mitende ingewekwa mbele zao King would ride into their capital over them Mfalme angeingia kwenye jiji lake So as you choose mitende. to make this day a new beginning Na hivyo basi tunapoamua kuifanya hii siku mpya Follow mpia. Jesus Na kwa Yesu As the king of our lives Kumfanya Yesu knowing and proclaiming tukijua na kutangaza that he has won a great victory for us kwamba ametushindania vita kuliko kwetu for our palm leaves to walk them let him walk over them to him walk because he has given us 
victory. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The second thing I find are clothes. Mavazi yetu. Mavazi. They laid down their cloaks. Wali chukua mavazi yao yakeka chini. For him. Kwake, kwa sababu yake. In other words they gave him everything. Kumaanisha walempa kila kitu. Because cloaks. Kwa sababu mavazi. Even when Jesus died. Hata Yesu alipoaga dunia. His cloth was so good. Mavazi lake alikuwa nzuri sana. That they had to do some pata ukiweka hapa utapata hapa utapotea because it alifanya. was good. Kwa sababu vazi lake alikuwa ni nzuri. They threw their cloaks down. Wakayaweka mavazi yao chini. I think because of two things. Nafikiri kwa sababu ya mambo mawili. kwanza. It is symbolic of our giving all to him. Ya kutoa yote kwake. Giving everything to him. Kutoa yote kwake. The clock hiyo hizo covered this man. Likuwa linafundika huyo mtu. The clock hilo nguo kept him warm likamfanya wewe hisi joto hii nguo provided him ikampa the place to sleep it ilikuwa ilikuwa ndio bokodoro morigeti everything yani if you had it ukiwa nayo ilikuwa ni clock inafunika vizuri kwa hivyo wewe kazi yako ni kungorota tu ni kulala na kupasua mbao So when you remove it you are trying to say silali hivyo basi ukitoa una maisha ula you have for me Ume, now i can sleep sasa naweza nikasema well Wapu. i don't have to take any painkiller or hiyo dawa ya kulala sihitaji kunywa dawa tena hallelujah amen so when a person spreads their clothes before a king na hivyo basi mtu akivua they are saying that we Vazila. give you all that we have lina maanisha unampa kila kitu ambacho kuna all that we need na kile unahitaji to make this new beginning kuanza mwanzo is only mpia. you ni wewe blessed be the name of the lord amen so let's give our clocks to him hivyo basi tumpe mavazi yetu yale mambo ambayo tunadhamini yale mambo ambayo tunatitia yote we cannot do without yale mambo ambayo tuwezi bila secondly jambo la pili spreading the garments out kutandaza yale mavazi for someone to walk on kwa mtu atembelee was more than just an act ilikuwa ni zaidi ya kitendo so spreading your coat na hivyo basi kuweka chini you see Bora hizo asifiwe. Amen. Ni watu wangapi aruzi zao walifanya wakati kulikuwa na mvua? Ulioa wakati wa mvua. Lucy anakumbuka yake ilikuwa na mvua. Can I tell you what happened? Hebu nikwambie leo fanyika. Waliweka mashuka kanyange. Hey, kwa sababu dage utia. He? Even my daughter Mugai you can remember your sister waliweka machuka na akukwa kumenyesha ili atoke hao sukari akanyange kwa mashuka It's an honor Yeshima <laughs> blessed be the name of the Lord Amen So it is good for us to know when we do it na hivyo ni vizuri when tutu, we lay them out tunapoya when we spread our coat tunapoya tandika mafumbo For that lady is so that she can not soil her feet Amen In the Old Testament, katika agano la kale, the book of 2 Kings and chapter number 9. Wa falme wa pili sura ya 9. It is good for us to know that the Israelites ni vizuri tujue kwa Israel. They are clocks out for wali, the new king Jehu wali, to walk on. Amen. It was an act of submission and honor and loyalty. Lilikuwa ni tendo la kujitolea. So to make our new beginning. Na hivyo basi ili tuwe na mwanzo mpya. We need to honor Jesus. Tunahitaji tumheshimu Yesu. Everything. Katika kila jambo. And submit his rule of our lives. Na tujitolee katika maisha yetu. Blessed be the name of King Jesus. Amen. Choose. Amua to lay everything that you have for him. Kuyatoa kiuitoa kila kitu ambacho uko nacho. Salimia jirani yako. Mwambie wewe kuwa punda. Amekasirika. So, sasa nilikuambia mtu akikuita ngombe unasema the last time I checked mimi sikuwa na pembe. Eh? Kwa hivyo usione kama nikuambia umeambiwa tu wewe ni vizuri kuwa kama punda. You know punda I don't care. Punda. Si punda ana maringo. Punda 
mimi na muogopa kwa sababu vile anakaaga unafikiria you just think anafikiriaje ni hasira ni hasara punda tafadhali siwache ni kuzungumzie wewe mtu wa Mungu and we we are having encounters next weekend then we'll go to we'll have nuts and bolts next weekend then we'll go to the encounter in one of the lessons nafunzo moja we teach in the nuts and bolts ambalo tunafunza katika seminar ya nuts and bolts we try to help people huwa tunajaribu kuwasaidia watu not to become a bull si wawe fahali but to be an ox lakini wawe uh, ngombe ambaye uh, ndume ambaye anaweza akafanya kazi the difference tofauti between a bull kati ya fahali na ngombe ambaye anaweza akafanya kazi is it a bull ni kwamba fahali is a bull ni fahali and a bull what it does na fahali afanyacho is to me to 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 smell ni kunusa a certain and you know sometimes you could be with a the bull there na wakati mwingine utakuwa na fahali pale but ikinusa tu vitu vingine inabomoa nini fence alafu ukiangalia kidogo unaona ah kulikuwa na kangombe kengine pale kumbe imevunja kwa sababu ya kale kangombe but for it to be an ox lakini awe ndume ambaye anaweza kufanya you have to deal with it you have to break something lazima uvunje jambo you have to break the wheel of that bull lazima uvunje jambo so that this bull can be submissive ili huyu fahali awe mnyenyekevu ili ulime nayo ili uite kairo 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 na umeshika kitu ya kulima kairo kairo neto die tu kairo 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 mnalima na hora kona inapiga kona for it to get to that point ili afikie hali hiyo you have to deal with the wheel lazima ushughulikie and you and i if we are going to follow jesus kama tutamfuata yesu if we are going to lay our clothes kama tatoa mavazi yetu if you are going to have palm for him kama tutakuwa na mitende kwake we kwa have to deal with our wheel lazima tushughulikie hali hiyo ile ambayo leo unasema unampenda yesu kesho unajichanganya Kuna wimbo inaenda kana namna hii. Wimbo mzuri sana inaibegwa na watu wa kiroho kama bishop. Forgive the times have prayed and failed when evil is all around prevail and how to know thy will and teach me touch me one more time. Huyo mwimbaji anaambia Mungu nisamee kwa sababu kweli salimia jirani yako Mungu akusamehe Yaani unaomba asubuhi leo sitakasirika unaingia kwa matatu kanga watano kwa songa nani unaambia songe hapa tuna umeomba sasa jioni lazima uimbe hiyo wimbo forgive the times i have prayed and failed what happens it is because although you are spiritual there is carnality within you bana mwili ndani yako carnality sio mtu ambaye hajaokoka carnality ni kufuata kana punda punda donkey hebu niongee habari ya hizo punda zilikuwa mbili Yesu anaitisha zote mbili si ndio mama na mtoto hataki mama anataka kupanda mtoto niulize na huyu mtoto hajafundishwa hajavunjwa wili yake bado ni mpunda mtoto eh bado kana kuwa kuwa what happened that's why we are saying may god help us to give our everything Yo, kwa sabu. sababu kalipokuja hako kapunda kadogo yesu akapanda juu yake hakakumtupa kalitulia bwana yesu asifiwe amen We need to be donkey so that the Lord can use us. Tunahitaji tuwe punda ili Bwana Because the Lord wants to use us. Kwa sababu Bwana anataka tutumie. But our will has to be broken. Lakini lazima tunyenyekee. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. 
So we think of horses as being the animals of choice for loyalty. But this, biblically, it is not so in fact. Although Solomon had thousands of horses, the Israelites were told not to put their trust in horses. Although it was a symbol of war and power and wealth. Because they were to put their trust in the law. So the donkey was the real workhorse for Israel. But the Pharisee ilikuwa ni avita. Lakini kazi ni punda. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Mimi ningependa kuwa punda wa Yesu. Nifanyie Yesu kazi. Amen. So contrary to common perception the donkeys are anything but stupid. In fact, once they are on against their trust, they can be willing and companionable partners and they are very dependable. The other day I told you about my, my father-in-law had a donkey. Nigali. 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 Ikienda ifika mahali pa kuwekwa mizigo inagoja mizigo inawekewa mizigo inapewa ndetwa bate inaanza kupanda kutoka Kenyona Madukandi kwenda Karadi Ikifika Karadi inaenda pahali pa kutolewa mizigo na inasimama vizuri itolewe mizigo ni kwa sababu imefanyishwa training a donkey well trained punda ambaye amefunzwa vizuri become very dependable huo watu kutegemea a believer well trained muumini ambaye amefunzwa vizuri become dependable to the lord kuwa mtu wa kutegemea may your will be broken may we become a donkey for jesus ili wepundwa kwa yesu the donkey that jesus rode was untrained huyu punda ambaye ule alibeba yesu alikuwa amefunzwa with jesus sitting on ambaye alikuwa amembeba yesu it rode steadily under his divine and yet gentle guidance. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. So the challenge is, who is the king of your life? Na hiyo basi changamoto ni nani mfalme wa maisha yako? Who is the king of your life? Ni nani mfalme wa maisha yako? I told you. Nilikwambia. Jesus is saying when you go to the city. Yesu anasema ukienda kwenye jiji. He knew. Alijua. He had believers. Alikuwa na waumini. He had people. Alikuwa na watu. Who had seen him. Ambao walikuwa wamemwona. Bethany was nearby. He had brought uh, Lazarus back to life. Alikuwa amemfufua Lazaro. So the people from Bethany had. Na hivyo basi watu wa Bethany so wakasia. So he's walking there there. Na hivyo wanapotembea wakapanda. What are they doing? Hey. They have read the prophecies. Amen. And they know he is the Messiah. So they are Messiah. singing Hosanna. Hosanna. Now what happens to others that never believed him? They thought now he's coming to be king. Amen. So they were celebrating him to be king, Walikuwa. but there are others that knew he was king already. Walikuwa na sherehe mfalme lakini kuna wengine walijua kwamba yeye ni mfalme. So when they were on time the the, the court. Na hivyo basi walikuwa na neighbors they are ask. Majirani wakauliza. Muna pereka wapi punda? And to meitishwa na Yesu the Lord has need of it. Hakulizo kitu kwa sababu kulikuwa na watu walimjua Yesu. May we know him. Tumjue. That we can release what we are holding. Ili tuachilie kiamo. Not even the palms. Not even our clocks. Si mavazi yetu. That we are going to release even our donkeys. Hata tuachilie punda wetu. So that we can go to serve the king of kings. Ili waende kwa mtukia mfalme wa mfalme na bwana wa mabwana. Now who is your king? Ni nani mfalme wako? Who? Mfalme wako. Or what? Has been your king in your life? Ni nini kime kwa mfalme wako maisha wako? Who? Or what? Has ruled you this far? Ni nani ama ni nini kime kutawala? Has it been a need of acceptance? Je, imekuwa ni hali ya kuhitaji? A need of acquisition? Pa, uh, or a need of achievement? Ama hitaji la kwa umefikia? Has it been your job? Imekuwa ni kazi yako? Is it your wife? Ama ni bibi yako? Is it your hobbies? Ama ni uh, uraibu wako? Oh may God help us. Mungu atusaidie. That we can say Lord. Ili tuseme Bwana. You buwana. are the king. Wewe ndiye mfalme. So when Jesus entered Jerusalem. Na hivyo basi Yesu alipoingia Yerusalemu. He declared a new king is coming. Akatangaza mfalme mpya anakuja. Who are following him? Ambao walimfuata. Joyful comes to them. Oh furaha ikaja kwao. He's giving them 
life akawapa uzima he is giving them love akawapa upendo he is giving them joy akawapa furaha he is giving them peace akawapa amani and the promise of eternal life na hadi ya uzima wa milele what palm sunday is all about hivyo ndivyo jumapili ya milele ndivyo is in town mfalme ni wa milele the king is in town ni wa milele the king is in town Oh, so what are here. you going to do about him? Utafanya nini? Are you ready for a new beginning? Je, uko tayari kwa mwanzo mpya? Are you ready to, to have your palm branches? To uko tayari kupunga vitende vyako? Are you ready to lay your clocks before him? Uko tayari kuachilia punda wako? And be his wise and reliable donkey. Na punda wako ambao ni wa kutegemewa. So he can use you the rest of your days. Ili akutumie maisha yako. Who yako. is your king? Mfalme wako ni nani? Who is going to be king? Nani atakuwa mfalme? Over your life. Our heavenly Father, the Father of our Lord and Savior Jesus. Christ. We want to wave our hands before you. We want to wave our spiritual hands before you. We want to lay our accolades before you. We want to lay our winnings before you. We want to lay our clocks before you. In the mighty name of Jesus, we want you to use us. That we have, Kila kitu ambacho tuko nacho. That God you can use it. Ambacho uweze ukatumie. Praise and to the glory of your dear name. Kwa sifa na utukufu wa jina You lako. could be here. Pengine ungekuwa. My brother, my sister, you Duk. could be here. Pengine uko hapa ndugu dada. And you are pray, oh God, I need a new beginning. Na unaomba Bwana nahitaji mwanzo mpya. I need a new beginning. Nahitaji mwanzo mpya. I'm tired of praying and failing and praying and failing nimechoka kuomba na kushindwa kuomba na kushindwa i know there is a king of glory sasa sababu najua kuna mfalme utukufu i want to declare him lord and king over my life nataka nimtangaze bwana juu ya maisha yangu so if you are here and you want to give your life to jesus hivyo kama uko hapa ungetaka pia toa maisha yako so that you can be your king ili awe mfalme wako so that you can say he is my lord ili useme ndiye bwana wangu I would like to pray for you. Ningetaka nikuombee. Actually if you can stand from wherever you are. Kwa kweli kama unaweza simama mahali pote ulipo. in the tent. Uwe kwenye hema. We have people in the tent. Kuna watu kwenye hema. We have pastors in the tent. Wana wachungaji kwenye hema. Whether it is in the corridor. Hata kama ni pale nje. Or in the main church sanctuary. kanisani. If you would stand on your two feet. Kama unaweza ukasimama kwenye miguu yako. Pana mtu atakusaidia. Because we want you. Kwa sababu tunataka. This point on. Kuanzia sasa. That you will declare Jesus is that Jesus yes is my lord Jesus yes is my king Jesus is my lord yes ni bwana wangu i can see there are two standing do you want to join those two ungetaka kujiunga na wale wawili they are in the tent or here pengine uko hapa ama kwenye hema we want to pray for you tunataka tukuombe yes you want Jesus to be king and lord over your life ni kweli yesu awe mfalme wa maisha yako in the name of the lord jina la bwana libaki i want to ask somebody who can help me that my sister comes here and And if you are there still seated. Na kama uko hapa bado umeketi. Yes, you want Jesus to be king. Na kweli unataka Yesu awe mfalme. And to be lord over your life. Awe bwana juu ya maisha yako. Join them here. Waunge ungana nao. In the mighty name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. Join them here. Ungana nao. In the mighty name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. Join them here. Ungana nao. Just come. Join them here. In the mighty name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. Yes. Yes. Jesus is Lord. Bwana Yesu ni Bwana. Declare Hosanna in the highest. Tutatangaza Hosanna aliye juu. Declare Hosanna. Tunataka tutangaze Hosanna kwa aliye juu. Hosanna. If you are there, kama uko hapo, want to give your life to Jesus. Unataka kuyatoa maisha yako kwa Yesu. Wale kwenye hema pana wachungaji. Tutore just come. We want to believe God together with you. Let's appreciate the Lord. Yes. Yes. Jesus wants to be Lord of your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. We want to bring this service to a wonderful close. You could be here. You could be here. Pengine uko hapa. But you have kept on holding. Lakini umekuwa ukizuia. You cannot lift up your hands to praise him. Always you can He has done so many things. Amekutendea mengi. But every time you lift up your hands it's like there is a heavy weight pulling you. Lakini ukinua mikono pana uzito. The Lord has blessed you. Bwana amekubariki. And there are things that you're holding so dear. Na pana mambo ambayo umeshikilia sana. You cannot release them to. Always you kaachilia kwake. You could even be having a, a donkey. Pengine hata uko na punda. He wants to use it. Na anataka kuitumia. He wants to use it. Jambo ambalo anataka litumie. You don't know how to release it. Lakini haujui kuachilia vipi. Can I tell you something? 
The first step of releasing it is asking someone to pray for you so that you can know where Mariako na vyote ulivyo navyo ni vyake. Amen. That is where the first miracle Hapo is. I want to ask the ministry team those that are in the house here please would you stand. Those that are up there stand up there. Face the yako. congregation. E, uh, and if you are there Come on, come on. And you feel yes. There are some things that I want to release to the Lord. I want to know that everything I have is His. And I want to release it to Him. Amen. 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 Let them pray for you so that you can know everything that you have is his. What you have is his. And the minute you know it is his, you will not hold it back. You will release it to the Lord. Let us all stand up. Lord, we thank you for this night. 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 We thank you for screens can give us the whole song Na so that when we sing songs. the chorus they add the other chorus Amen. the other, the other stanza Amen. as we minister Amen. we want to finish our service by ministering to each other in the name of the Lord